Two this time actually rolling. Yep. So uh, I was just tra- starting to record this a minute ago, but I just got a crap ton of stuff from Lodge, uh, Lodge Cast Iron, uh, based in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, about half an hour away from where I live. Uh, I work at the Mont Eagle Inn and Retreat Center on top of Mont Eagle Mountain, and I was lucky enough to have met them recently at a conference they had at our facility. I uh, told them about this channel, and they were happy to support me by sending some of these uh, products for me to use, which are going to be used a lot, and you're going to see these soon. Uh, here I've got a five-quart uh, cast iron Dutch oven. I've got this lid that fits over my regular uh, skillet as well, uh, my ten and a quarter inch skillet. Over here, this right here is a uh, 12 inch, I think they refer to it as a chef skillet, uh, or a stir fry pan, something like that. And it's got a sloped sides, unlike the straight sides that most uh, cast iron has. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for, but I'm going to use it for something soon enough, I'm sure. Stir fry. Stir fry. You know what, I was going to be making some kind of stir fry with cabbage and carrots and stuff later anyway, so good time for it. Comes with a lid. Uh, 10 inch, what is this? Chef Collection uh, cast iron chef style skillet. Uh, it's already all these are pre seasoned. This the same way. It's got a sloped side. This would make an interesting omelet. It'd be a big omelet, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I don't see why not. Loaf pan, cast iron loaf pan. It's good for making a nice brown, crispy uh, edges on the, the uh, sides of your loaf. Now what the heck's in here? I see this is part of this is gonna be new to me because I had half of it done before we started rolling. Have some uh, pot holders. Looks like ones that you can do this with or something. That's my yeah, guess. Yeah, the, the uh, packing list calls that a trevet. Okay, trevet. There we go. And this is just a bigger chef skillet. Uh, Twelve inches. This can be used for basically everything. Yeah. You know what? It's uh, almost identical to the other one I showed you. The only difference is this one has a you know long handle. And if I had to guess. Let's just try this out. This is my glass lid that came with the other one. Let's see if it fits on this too. It does. Bada bing. Yep. Oh, I just now noticed this one does not have a long handle. It does not. Instead, it has two uh, two of the smaller handles. All right, so let's see what's in this. Oh, uh, the unboxing video. One of those things I thought I would never actually do because it seems like, why would you watch somebody open something? But hey. Everybody does it at least once, and might as well. Okay, so this is something else. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a griddle, or, you know, grill pad, square one. I've got a round one, but I don't have a square one. You could actually probably fit more. Like, you could get a, I would say maybe three if you had a decent, in like a strip steak or something. Oh, yeah. Well, they've got pork chops on the picture. Vegetables. Yeah. Interesting. Now i got to find a place to put all this stuff. <laughs> all right. Is anything else in this box? Is just one thing per box. Wait, there's something else in here. Okay, so this is a square griddle. So you get one grill pan and one flat top griddle. Awesome. So uh, let's... Put that over there. I can see all kinds of breakfast coming out of that combo. You can see all kinds of everything. <laughs> yeah, you could do bacon on one and pancakes on the other. Now, what is this? This is also in the chef collection. I guess this might be what they refer to as a stir fry pan. Well, no, it says a. Sh- oh, you chef got a knife. Why don't you use it? I don't know. Let's just do this thing then. You almost saw me try to cut towards myself. You would have fired me as a chef for doing that. <laughs> uh oh. Here we have. This uh, is basically freaking walk. So that's why they call it a stir fry pan. And look at this. It's actually got a fully round bottom. Oh, that's flat, beautiful. Flat base. But the bottom is round. That's beautiful. Most uh, woks that you buy that are, have a flat bottom. Have the inside of the bottom is also flat, so it's not really like a wok. And because this is cast iron, it's going to get a lot hotter and hold its heat better on a even on an electric range than a, a regular wok would. So I don't know. This might be used for the stir fry instead. Mm-hmm. Shoot, 
don't know. That's all I got for you today. Uh, I've got the. I think I have the pop holders hive in here somewhere, but you already saw those. Anyway, thank you. All right. Uh, so I just uh, told you a minute ago we got all this lodge cast iron stuff. Uh, comes pre-season straight from the foundry. But what I always like to do, there's five million ways to do this. But when I first get one, I will put it on the stove top, warm it up a bit. I rub this down with bacon grease. You can do it with Crisco, you can do it with vegetable oil, but I just like to get it right to this point, rub it down with the bacon grease. Uh, I'm gonna heat it up until the oil just starts to smoke. What I always do after that, I get a paper towel and I try to get as much of it off as I can. Keeping too much on there is what, I don't know if you've ever used cast iron to get that gummy consistency on if you cook it too long with too thick of a layer of oil. So I'm just gonna, I've got a thick layer on here now, but I'm gonna kind of adjust it and wipe it down in just a minute. Uh, but I've got several more pieces I'm going to do this too, so we've got some work to do. Start with this, it's a little smaller. Uh, I mentioned this a minute ago, but this is a 10 inch uh, chef skillet. And they always recommend that you uh, wash it just in a, basically just rinse it with some water after you first get it. Which I'm gonna, <laughs> watch this, I'm gonna do that again, you ready? This is just the glue that holds this label on. Yeah, it's just basic epoxy. Pretty much. But it all came off, so I'm going to give it a quick rinse, dry it really good, and I'm going to put it on my other burner. Alright, so I'm throwing some more, uh, I'm going to put some bacon grease on this one as well. I'm going to throw some on a paper towel, I'm going to rub it onto this uh, small one. Let it start melting and get it up to where it's going to start smoking just a bit. You don't really need a super heavy layer, you want it enough to fully coat it, but... We don't want to go too crazy with it. There we go. I've got my, uh, I want to call it. A, that's the goal right there, right? Yeah, this right here is uh, my 10 and a quarter inch skillet. I've had it for about, this one I've just had for a few months. Oh, and look, it's one of theirs. Yeah, this is also Lodge. Uh, I have been cooking with this one for a lot of stuff. I use it just about every day. This burner right here, this is where it lives. It stays right there all the time. Of course, I move it to the front to cook with it. As long as I can, if I don't need it, I need anything else, I'll leave it right here so we can use it. This is our stir fry pan. Uh, it's basically a wok. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice and shiny. Uh, starting to heat up. We're gonna wait for this uh, grease to start to smoke a bit, then we're gonna dry it down with a paper towel. Uh, a lot of people, then this is the standard way of doing it. They'll rub it down with the oil, then put it in the oven at you know 350 degrees, upside down, uh, bake it for a period of time, then take it out. But uh, I found Lodge's uh, pre-seasoning to be really good on its own. So this is more so just to give it a little bit of extra protection for your first meal you cook on it. You technically could start right away cooking uh, without doing this, but it helps. And I like bacon, so if we season it with some bacon grease, that's not going to hurt anybody at all. Now we'll just wait. All right, so I've got my 10-inch uh, my skillet to where it's smoking now. Turn the heat off. So I'm going to take a paper towel. I've actually got two or three of them right here bunched up. I'm just going to try to get all that excess oil off. Just going to wipe it off. See, we've got a nice shine to the pan going on here now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off the heat. I'm going to put it over here on top of my other lodge cast iron skillet. Let that finish doing its thing. And a uh, little tip. This is also with Lodge's uh, care instructions. Finish with that for the moment. But when you're using cast iron, when you get done using it, you always want to wash it with just water. You don't want to put soap on it because it's not necessary for one thing, but also it's going to mess up your oil-based seasoning. So uh, you want to wash it, dry it, put it on your stove top, turn it on about medium heat just for a few seconds to let it dry off any moisture and basically rub a light layer of oil on it. That's gonna help protect your seasoning and keep it looking like this for a long time. My uh, stir fry pan's starting to get to that level as well. We've got some smoke happening. So let's just go ahead. Oh, hey, my paper Wow. Towel. <laughs> it's hot. I stir got... frying paper towels. Yep, and burning myself with it. How about we get some more paper towels, please? More paper towels. And maybe kill the heat. Yeah, let's turn the heat off. How about that? Yeah. And how about protection? Protection. I always, always use protection when dealing with... Uh, and they were nice enough to send some protection to Yeah, they sent some protection because they knew I was needed. So we're just going to go ahead and try to get all that excess off. I'm going to go ahead and 
kind of play with my paper towels because I've got a, all the grease on one side. There we go. So this should be ready for service soon. A big thank you goes out to Lodge Cast Iron in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee for sending me this stuff. You get to see their products that I just received, uh, but you're going to be seeing me cooking with these very, 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 very soon. Maybe even as soon as within a few hours from now. Uh, but for now, thank you, Lodge, for sending me this stuff. Thank you for watching, and we'll, we'll see you very, very, very soon with some of this cast iron stuff in action.